Hey guys, Wilmer D here. Um, I I have to say that I'm pretty pretty glad to have 500 people that were willing to press the subscriber button. I mean, I well more than 500 now, but uh, I am pretty glad to see how things have progressed over like a course of one year I I mean I didn't expect to have so many subscribers as always I I mean I expect to have 400 but it happened but um, I would just like to let you go guys know that um, while I do like having a lot of subscribers I always enjoy hearing from said subscribers so um, I mean it's really I really just do it just to get some info or some video out that someone might profit. I mean, the one of the comments that were left on my um, on my uh, main channel page saying "thanks a lot, your barman videos were a great help." And I was like, "What? Well, I'm glad that sh they were able to help you in every way." So that's pretty much what I'm doing these videos for. Because some games can be a pain in the ass, like Maximo. So, uh, I just try to get through the game and, uh, just show what can be done to get around it or what things that are going to be a big pr hassle. I mean, it's not really, I mean, in terms of, uh, what I'm really caring for, I'm just caring for people just like in the videos, my friends mainly, uh, anybody that's very diligent watcher or something and giving the uh, comments and everything. That's pretty much what I'm doing it for. I mean, I don't care if I had like a thousand subscribers, but even though that would be nice, but uh, I mean, it's not the most important thing. I would say just people, the viewers are the most important thing um, and what they would think. So I'll try to do something to improve on those. And I've been thinking about this 500 subscribers special it's not going to be an official one I would say when I hit 800 I'm going to really celebrate on that you if you might be getting the gimmick idea um, just play a little Mario game and <clears throat> jump on a bunch of enemies and you'll start to see but uh, basically what the idea is um, I'm thinking of doing something we or VC related like virtual council I have all these games I'm already doing this game I'm already did this game <clears throat> but I have all these other games that are just sitting here doing nothing like Breath of Fire 2 which I'm not exactly a true noble fan of the game but I still have it Six, Super Mario 64 Gunstar Heroes Punch Out that game's hard by the way Kirby's Adventure, Fantasy Star, Legend of Zelda, Kid Icarus, which is coming out on the DS soon. Looks pretty awesome. Sin and Punishment, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, Dragon's Curse, which is some Wonder Boy look-alike in every way. And then we got Super Mario Galaxy in there since I was thinking of starting. But I was like, you know what? I'm thinking I should probably do something else. Maybe try to have you guys decide on it. Because, I mean, Super Mario Galaxy 2 has been out for about a month at least. And I'm sure everybody has done an LP on it already. So, I was thinking of doing the first one as a way to get around that. But, I don't know anymore. I just feel like what you guys want to, me to, want to see me play on the on this uh, Wii Virtual Console. I mean, I have all these games. I would like to play any of them for you at this point. Um, I mean, Gunstar Heroes is a kick-ass shooter made by Treasure. Or shoot 'em up And you got Super Mario 64, which pretty much is the reason why this game exists. And we also got Kirby's Adventure, which is probably would be the first Kirby game I'd be ever playing because I haven't even played a Kirby game yet and I got a mascot known as Waller D or as of Waller D not mascot I guess a avatar I guess and I got Fantasy Star which is a pretty good RPG it's probably the best one on the Genesis 
And then you got Legend of Zelda, which is pretty much an NES classic. It's pretty much embodies all the difficulties of that of the Zelda games, pretty much. Because I haven't really played a Zelda game as uh, well. There was a couple, but that this one definitely really embodies what Zelda should be like. It should be a fun game. You should have lots of exploration and bombs and all that great stuff, but it also needs to be a little bit difficult. Otherwise, it's not ex you're kind of missing a little bit there, but nevertheless, I would like to play some Zelda game. I would like to play any of these games you see on there, guys. I mean, except maybe that one, because Mario Kart Wii is kind of old to me right now. No offense to those that really like it. But yeah, if you have any uh, suggestions, I would r really love to hear them, guys. And of course, if there's any other games that you might think or might want to suggest, uh, feel free, you know, look into it. I mean, I have Edward, Edward, eh, Edgewood Blake suggesting me to do Depth Decap Attack, which I looked at, and it's not a bad looking game. I think I can probably add that to my list. And I'm still thinking on another bad game to play since I am not in the mood to revisit Navy Seals, that piece of shit of a game. I mean, it's... It's it's not even fun to ridicule because it's... Uh, I don't know, it's just... I don't know, it's hard to say, but... Uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for... Uh, Watching my videos, commenting, uh, rating if you can. Uh, but I I'm, I'm, would love to thank the people who subscribe to me and um, give me much of a reason to continue on with this. But uh, one thing I need to let you guys know about next Saturday in terms of streaming. There is going to be a different uh, situation here, guys. I think I'm going to do a all day stream in that sense where I'm going to basically just do a one big ass random stream or and then at uh, 8 p.m. I think I'm going to um, restart up Dragon Quest because I do have a s big side quest that I need to do and uh, I'm sure everybody would probably be glad to see that game again or some people and that's going to be happening on, let's see, nope, not July 4th, but we'll be heading into July 4th, that's, that will be cool. So yeah, that's something to look forward to next Saturday. We're going to be heading back into Dragon Quest 8 land, and uh, seeing what awesome things might be hidden in this little extra dungeon or area that... Um, I haven't even bothered looking into yet, but uh, I'll be preparing for that this week, so that way I won't be like pathetically get my ass kicked every five seconds. Because I know this game is hard, and it's proven to me many times before. So, uh, uh, if you guys can just vote on one of these games you see here, maybe ex excluding these two because they're kind of already in progress or already finished. I uh, look forward to hearing uh, from you guys, and uh, thank you again for subscribing and uh, just participating in the whole YouTube experience. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day, and adios.